Are you all right? Yeah, I think so, Kira. Uh, what happened? You missed her. You were flying up in the air like super moose. Wee, whoosh, wee, wee. <laughs> Girl, would you please stop being stupid for once in your life? This is serious. Ah, oh my head. Master, are you all right? Uh, yeah, Kira, I'm fine. Uh, just tell me what happened. Well. I hate to admit it, Master, but Gert's right. You and practically everything else in this room was floating. Really? Really? Yeah. I mean, it's seriously. Me and Gert had to practically fly up there just to wake you up. See, Master, I told you those... Ugh, I could tell right away that Kira was going to go into another one of her stupid lecture frenzies, which was so not what I needed right now, and things only seemed to get worse when I felt something weird on my hands. <gasps> what? What's wrong, Master? Uh, it's, um, nothing, Kira! Come on, Master, there's something wrong with you. Now show me your hands. Uh, look, Kira, what's that?! Okay, I know it was me to trick Kira for one of the oldest tricks in the books, but I panicked. Master, where are you going? Yay! Follow the leader! Whoopee! I heard Gurr and Kira say as I ran to the main computer room. I knew they were really worried about me, but I couldn't worry about that right now. I mean, come on! I had to find out the truth before it's too late. But regrettably, the only way I could find out the truth was by reading. Oh, man, I hate reading because I'm really slow at it. Oh, well, it was for the best. Computer! What? I need you to bring me up all the information you have on the Arachnids and the last battle of the Universal Wars. Why would you want to know about that? Just do it already! All right, fine. Jeez. I know it was wrong to yell at the computer like that, but I had no time for his attitude. I had to find out the truth now! As I began to read the info, my fears were realized. There was such a thing as arachnids. They had invented those terrible machines that use mixes and utopians like batteries. And they all had been supposedly destroyed in the last battle of the Universal Wars. As I leaned back into my chair, I could feel my fear starting to increase until I just lost and burst into tears. <laughs> this is so not funny! Why is all this stupid stuff happening to me? I tried to stop crying, but it just seemed not... But it just seemed that no matter what I did, the tears would not stop. And I did the very thing I so did not want to do. I looked at my hands. My gloves have been completely slashed on both of my hands, just like in my dreams. I was afraid to take off my gloves at first, but I knew I had to, so I did. And there... Right in the middle of both of my palms was that terrible symbol from my dreams. Oh, my Herc, why me? Master, why did you... Oh, Master, are you alright? Oh, Kira, I was so scared. <laughs> Sorry, Master. No, it's not alright!
my cure. I mean, just look at my hands. <laughs> wow, little master, you drew on yourself. I should do that too. Yay! Okay, on that stupid note, master, what happened to your hands? <laughs> They got scratched in my dreams. What do you mean, Master? What happened in your dream? Well, you see, at first I was running for my life from these dark and evil-looking hands, and then my mom saved me. Wait a minute, Master. You mean your mother visited you in your dreams? Do you realize how rare that is? I mean, utopians only visit their loved ones in their sleep. If they're really, really, really young. Yeah, I know. She told me. Anyway, she showed me the last battle of the Universal Wars and proved to me that the aliens in my dreams are arachnids! But they've been extinct for hundreds of years. Well, apparently the prince and his siblings escaped the destruction, and then when Mom was about to tell me who was behind all this stupid stuff, she got destroyed by this evil voice! And when I tried to defend her honor, my stupid powers would not work, so I ran! But I kept running into horrible, horrible things like demons, trees that grabbed my dress, and worst of all, a giant spider! Why, out of all the things that plague my dreams, why did it have to be a spider? You know how I feel about them! And then that jerk just had to cheat and tricked me! He hung me upside down like I was some stupid pinata! But then I heard you and Gert's voices, and I thought I was saved. But he said, you and your stupid servants may have won the battle, but not the war. And he scratched me. Oh, Master, see, I told you those dreams were bad news. Now you must truly realize that you have to tell your father. No, Kira, please! Um, hey, wait a minute, Kira. I've got a great idea. How about I promise to tell the wives the truth? I mean, come on, Kira, after all. We do have to call her and tell her that I crossed the threshold again, please? All right, Master. Just as long as you promise. Sure thing, Kira. All right, you heard her, computer. Set up a link with the wisest. Whatever. I can't believe those jerks actually hung up on me! I mean it. Seriously. I bet they think that just because I'm the wisest and they're the tallest, that that automatically gives them the right to make fun of me. Well, they're dead wrong, right, Julie? Yes, ma'am, my wisest, but don't you think you're overreacting? I mean, come on, my wisest. That did happen a couple Earth days ago, and... I don't care, Julie. It's still very rude, and I cannot imagine how things could possibly get any worse. My wisest, my wisest, I bring terrible news. Of course you do. Come on, what is it this time, Zoe? Come on, spit it out! Well, we just received word that our vault on Voltinio was broken in two at least three or four weeks ago. What? That's impossible! No one has ever been able to break into our vault on Voltinia. It's virtually impossible! Well, this person did. And the reason they haven't been able to contact us is because their communications have been down. She really did a number on them. What? You mean it was just one person? This is an outrage! Well, what are you all doing just standing around here for? You two, set a course for Voltinia. We're going to get to the bottom of this if it's the last thing we do! Yes, our wisest. <gasps> this is terrible, my wisest. I know, Julie. I haven't seen a battle this bad since the Universal Wars. My wisest, you honor us with your presence. Skip the formality, Scar, and just tell me what happened here. Yes, well, it's like I told your guy on the phone. Our guards barely stood a chance. The enemy used some kind of advanced weaponry. No! That's not how it happened. Oh, you poor thing. Scar, what is this soldier's name? I think it's Zeke, ma'am. It was his first day. Oh, finally, someone calls me by my real name. I mean, I'm so sorry, my wisest. <coughs> Shh. It's okay, soldier. Just tell me what happened. Okay. I'll try. Well, it's like Scar said. It was my first day. And after I was done with the tour, that's when all the trouble started. Well, Fur, now that you've taken our tour, what do you think of your new job? Uh, it's Zeke, actually. 
And uh, I think I made a great decision by transferring over here. Oh, please, you must be new, Fur. I mean, come on! This has got to be the most boringest job in the history of boring jobs. It's Zeke. And what do you mean? Well, I just wish that for once something cool would happen, but it never does, because no one is dumb enough to try and break in here. And those who are, are usually defeated by the first wave of guards. <laughs> Hold on a minute, Ferb, I have to take this. Zeke! You bloody yanker. Whatever. Yellow? Phineas, we're getting chills up here! Calm down, Isabel. Now what's wrong? Is an army attacking? No, it's just one person and... What? One person? That's impossible. Isabel, is this some kind of joke? Look, I know you have a crush on me, but this phone is for emergency only. No! Phineas, don't hang up! What's that all about? Oh, nothing, Ferb. Isabel is just being silly. Huh. <sighs> Erkins, what you gonna do? It's Zeke and. Oh, sorry. I never learned how to laugh. Who are, are you? you? What, what do you, you want? want? Oh, man. More formalities. Just call me a shopper who's finally found what you've been looking for. Well, you come in vain, right, Ferb? For the last time, it's Zeke! But you're right. Intruder! Whoever you are, your little shopping spree ends here! Ooh, is that all you got? Pity, cause I was looking forward to an actual challenge. Well now, it's my turn. Oh, you fiend! Oh, so feisty. You know you really should wipe your tongue when you're addressing a lady. You're no lady, you're nothing but a big fat crate! Oh, you could not more wrong, idiot. Aren't you a glutton for punishment? In other words, bye and die. <laughs> That's taken care of. Maybe you'll be more cooperative than your friend. Now I'm only going to ask this once. Tell me where the most heavily guarded vault in this dump is. Never! It wouldn't even matter if I did tell you, because that vault has a DNA scanner on it that only works if you have one of the guards' DNA. Oh, thank you so much. You've been a great help. What do you mean? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt you? I promise I'll make this less painful. Ah! <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. I lied. Jeez, what did you do that for? Oh, you're such a dummy. So I could get hold of your DNA. How else am I going to get into that safe? Thanks for the info. See you later, cutie. Ah! Oh, you poor thing. Scar, see to it that this soldier gets one of our best robotic arms. And a name tag. Yes, my wisest. Come on, Ferb. It's Zeke for the last time! <coughs> oh. Whatever. My wisest, my wisest, I just took some inventory and I know exactly what the thief stole. All right, let me hear it, Cat. What did she steal? Well, she took one of the schematics we confiscated from the king and queen of the Arachnids during one of the first battles of the Universal Wars. What? Let me see that. <gasps> this is a readout for one of those terrible machines that use utopians and mixes like batteries. Oh, I hate those things. Did she steal anything else? Well, just the contents of vault number 29. What? Cat, are you sure it was vault number 29? Uh, yes, Sergeant Julie, there's nothing left in that vault. Julie, what's wrong? What was in that vault? Oh, um, nothing, my wisest. Julie, don't make me use your full name. No, wait, my wisest, don't do that. You see, it's just that, um, um, so unit was in that vault. What? Julie! I told you to destroy that thing! I know, my wife, but I thought that we could learn a lot from it. And besides, it was deactivated and... I don't care, Julie. You are in so much trouble! No good can come from that, sir, unit. 
Oh, man. Now it's official. Things can't possibly get any worse. My wisest, my wisest, we have an incoming call from Princess Amethyst. Of course we do. Come on, Julie. Let's see what's wrong with Amethyst this time. We'll talk about this later. Yes, my wisest. I liked it better when we were just sisters. What was that? Um, uh, nothing, my wisest. Wee-hoo! Look at me! I super boost to the rescue! Come on, girl! You're gonna embarrass us in front of the wisest! No! I must fight crime! Yay! Well, fight crime in the other room, because we're busy, you idiot. Okie dokie, cure my hee <laughs> Yes, thank goodness that's over with. Amethyst? What? Oh! Uh, no, my wisest, I'm sorry. I did not mean to yell at you. It's just that... Oh, never mind that, Amethyst. Just tell me what's wrong. Oh, um, nothing. It's just that, um, the fact that I sort of, kind of, maybe crossed the threshold last night. What? But you weren't supposed to do that for another couple of Earth months. I know, but isn't this a good thing? I mean, come on. At least now I get new powers. Yes, I know it's a good thing. But it's still kind of weird. Put your hand on the scanner, and we'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, ma'am. At first I was a little scared that the marks on my hands would interfere with the scan, but as the scanning was coming to an end, my fears started to subside. Anyway, like always, the scan showed me in the wisest a readout of my new powers. Well, it looks like you now have the power to put up shields and... Oh, no. What's wrong, my wisest? Oh, nothing, Amethyst. It's just... You got healing powers. And I was so hoping you wouldn't get these powers. Why? What's wrong with them? Oh, nothing, Amethyst. It's just that... There has only ever been one other utopian in the universe that had these powers, and... They cost her her life. What? How? Well, you see, these powers have... The ability to heal yourself and others. But therein lies the problem. Let's say you were trying to heal someone's arm. Then your arm would probably hurt for a while. Or let's say you were trying to save someone's life and you died in the process. Well, at least that's what happened to her. Whoa! Is there anything else I should be worried about? Well, like I said... No other utopian in history has ever had these powers, so we didn't exactly document it as well as we probably should have. So, no. Whew, okay, that's a relief. And don't worry, my risers, I'll use these powers with the greatest responsibility. Good. Now, is there anything else you would like to talk about? Um, th n nothing comes to mind. Are you sure? Yep, completely positive. <sighs> Oh, for the love of my wisest. Amethyst, is there something wrong with Kira? Uh, no, my wisest. I think she's just been spending way too much time with her. You mean Supergirl? Woohoo! Huh? Uh, Kira, give me back my gloves! No, Master, not until you tell the wisest the truth. What truth is she talking about, Amethyst? Oh, nothing, my wisest. Kira's just being silly! Don't worry, little master! I'll stop the evil villain! Ugh, Kerr! Why did you just pour chlorine all over me? That was so not helpful! <gasps> You're right, little master! Don't worry! I'll catch the bad guy! What the? Amethyst, stop! Huh? Oh! Uh. That was so much fun! No, girl, it wasn't fun. Now get off of me! Wee-hoo! I'm so sorry about this, my wisest. Now what's wrong? Oh, nothing, Amethyst. It's just... your face. <gasps> what? Um, nothing's wrong with my face. Amethyst, show me your face. Uh, all right. <gasps> Amethyst, what happened to you? Well, um, I got scratched. I knew that. What I meant was, how? And what's that stuff on your hands? Oh, you saw that too. Well, um... <gasps> Amethyst! Do you realize what symbol that is? No, not really. That is the Matrix's symbol. 
What is it doing on your hands? Well, uh, Gur drew on them. Oh, for the love of my wisest, my master has been having weird dreams for nearly three or four Earth weeks. And that's where she got the marks and the scratches. Traitor! I told you not to tell her! I'm sorry, master, but you wouldn't tell her so. Silence, you two! Now, this is serious. Amethyst, you must tell me everything that has been going on with you. And that is an order. Mm -hmm. Okay. The well, you see, it's like Kira said, for the past couple Earth weeks, I have been having these really weird dreams where these three aliens are trying to get their revenge on the stupid race, as they called them, and I only just recently found out that they were talking about us. What? How dare they call our race stupid? Well, continue, Amethyst. Oh. Okay, well then a new creature appeared and it felt like I knew her, but I couldn't tell because she wore a cloak and she had a really powerful sir unit. What? Amethyst, are you sure it was a really powerful sir unit? Yeah, it sure was powerful enough to defeat the other aliens' three sir units in only a couple of seconds. Why? Is that bad? Yeah, it's very bad because our vault on Voltinia had just been broken in two by a mysterious cloaked figure and she took Dune's sir unit and- Quiet, Julie. You're already in enough trouble as it is. No need to scare Amethyst. Now, continue with your story, Amethyst. Well, after I found out that these aliens want to use me in one of those stupid machines that use utopians and mixers like batteries, someone scratched me in my dreams and they said I would soon be on their side. It was terrible. Then tonight my mom came and visited me in my sleep, and yes, I know it's very rare, but she showed me that the aliens in my dreams are arachnids. What? But they've been extinct for hundreds of years. Well, the prince and his siblings apparently escaped the destruction, and then my mom was about to tell me who was behind all this. But then all of a sudden this evil voice destroyed her, and when I tried to defend her honor, my stupid powers would not work, so I ran. But it was no use. He tripped me and hung me upside down. Then I got scratched and he put those stupid marks on my hands. Oh, Amethyst, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because she thought it wasn't real. Well, I hate to tell you this, Amethyst, but these dreams are no joke. In fact, this happened a lot during the Universal Wars. It did? What does it all mean? Well, unfortunately, all the info concerning this kind of thing was destroyed by the thief. And unfortunately, our leading expert on this kind of thing is way over on the other side of the galaxy, and it would take her at least three Earth days to get here. Oh, really? Yep, and that's not even the weirdest part. I don't understand how you could have gotten what I'm thinking you have if the matrices were dead before you were even born. Oh, um, my wisest, uh, I think I may know how this, uh, Happens. What is it now, Julie? Well, um, you see, uh... Julie Tattoo? No, my wife is not my full name! <laughs> yes, yes, I know. My name is really funny. All right, now, shut up! Good. Now, as I was saying before, I was so rudely insulted, uh... Crystal was not in the best of shape after we escaped from Doom's ship. What do you mean? Yes, well, uh, it happened right when we were head back to Utopia. Julie, how much longer is this gonna take because I really want to be with Zim? I know you do, Crystal, but you must understand. We have to make sure that nothing bad happened to you while you were on Doom's ship, and besides... You do realize that Zim is... No! Please, Julie, don't say it! But he is dead. I told you not to say it! <laughs> oh, man, Julie, this is all my fault. <laughs> now, now, Crystal, you really mustn't blame yourself and... Oh, would you look at that? It looks like we're... Uh, Crystal? Ah, great. Oh, Sim, even Dad, you look so heroic. Oh, why did you have to save my life, Sim? I am so sorry, this is all my fault. <laughs> Crystal, you really shouldn't have 
run away like that. I wasn't done and- Now what's the point, Julie? You don't understand that my life is not worth living now that Sim is gone! <laughs> yes, it is, Krista, because you're with child! <gasps> I am? Yep, you would have known that if you had just stayed put. Oh, this is just crazy. <laughs> Now Zim never even got to find out that he was going to be a father! <laughs> oh, Crystal, please don't... What? Blood? <gasps> You're bleeding! What? Oh, that. So what? It must have happened when I destroyed that vile fiend doom! You better let me... No, Chewie! Just leave me alone! <laughs> All right, I'll come get you when we reach Utopia. Julie Tattoo! Why didn't you tell me this sooner? My wisest, please quit using my full name. And I didn't think it was important. I mean, after all, Crystal is dead. And... Yeah, my wisest, and that happened to my mom, not me. That doesn't matter, Amethyst. There's a reason why the matrices were so feared. It's because what they did to one Utopian could usually pass down to the next generation. <gasps> you mean whatever was supposed to happen to my mom is happening to me because she's dead? Exactly. <gasps> what should I do, my wisest? Well, for one thing, you probably shouldn't use your powers for a while. And you should keep that necklace we gave you at all times on. And you should report to the Destroyer right away. <gasps> But my wisest, my dad was supposed to unleash a new evil plan and... Oh, look, girl, bad guys! Don't worry, you man, I'll protect you! <sighs> bad girl, what did you do that for? Don't blame girl for this, Master. For once, it was not his fault. You... Made him hang up on the wisest just so you wouldn't have to tell your dad, and... Amethyst! Gurr! Kira! Come upstairs right now! It's time to unleash my latest, most diabolical plan ever! <laughs> you see, Kira, we have no time for this nonsense. We have work to do. And don't worry, Kira, I promise, after we unleash Dad's newest evil plan, I'll tell him the whole truth. Now, come on, Kira, time's a wasting. Well, she took one of the schematics. Uh, well, she took one of the schematics we confiscated from the king and queen of the Arachnids during one of the first battles of the Universal Wars. Well, she took one of the schematics we confiscated from the king and queen of the Arachnids during the one of the. Ah, I keep doing this, okay. Well, she took one of the schematics we confiscated from the. Well, she took one of the schematics we confiscated from the king and queen of the Arachnids during one of the first battles of the Universal Wars. Nailed it. Seek! I, I find Yank and Wanker. It's just weird, but... So don't use that take. Just, just use the Zeke part. Alright. Okay, good. Gotta get back into my... Cricket! So, cricket, football, Big Ben. Uh, all right. Yes, I'm back in. I'm back now. And clap. Give me a big round of applause for your act, though. Jolly good show. I'm talking sarcastically, of course. It's a rather piss poor performance. Oh, thank God you killed that bloody git. He was real annoying, not getting my name right all the, at all. Yeah, what kind of bloody whore are you? Oh, you think? Ah, oh, bloody hell! This, the, this transfer was the worst decision of my life. Uh. Uh, why don't you just kill me? M Motherfucker! That's it! I quit! I quit! No! I'm going back to wherever the hell I was before, but it was wherever people knew my fucking- my bloody fucking name! God damn it! That's all, folks! You're never gonna fucking see me again! God! Bloody hell! Oh yeah, so- Kira! This is all your fault! Except I'm her dad! And so as her subordinate, and Amethyst being my subordinate, technically that makes you my subordinate as well. So you do have to listen to me! No, that's how it works! I'm Zim! I'm the leader! I call the shots here! I'm still not in in my world. Then in your world, my outside get, world. Drink some more coffee and wake up. I want to sleep forever. Well, you can sleep on your own time. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Going first. Of the Wyatt's line, what other lines are there? Oh, wait. I'm only Elizabeth in this chapter. Yeah, what other lines did you think you were? I don't know. For some reason, I thought who long was in this chapter. Why would it be? I can't believe those jerks actually hung up on me! I mean it! Seriously! I bet because they... They... Yeah, blah, blah. What? <laughs> Crap! That line is long! It's just a sentence! I know it's a sentence, but it's freaking long, dude! Suck it up! Mmm! Okay, repeat that for me, please. <clears throat> I mean it. Don't do that! <laughs> by, the, by the way, I was recording this this whole time. Fine, we can have bloopers. Anyway, yeah. I mean it seriously. I bet they think just because I'm the wisest and they're the tallest that that automatically gives them the right to just walk all over me. I mean it! Seriously! I bet just because they... Ah! Darn it! No! I mean it! Seriously! I bet just because they... Oh, no! <laughs> no, you're supposed to say, I bet they think just. Shoot. Okay. I'm not going to be able to say this without laughing now. Dang it! Why do you do this to me? Bye. Okay. <clears throat> I mean it. Seriously. I bet they think that just because I'm the wisest and they're the tallest, that that automatically gives them the right to make fun of me. He the line is just walk all over me, but that works too. And walk all over me. That way we can have a little bit of improv there. <laughs> okay. Well, that okay. did... Sorry? Oh, no, that was the line. I just thought you hadn't remembered it. Yeah, well, I kind of did. Well, they did wrong, right, Julie? 